So in our effort to develop Special Economic Zone Program, Special Economic Zone Authority has so far facilitated uh, the gazettement of 38 Special Economic Zones, which eight are public, and that is why I was asking whether those eight public will also be a part of this association or not, and 30 are private SEZs. However, out of these 30, only 10 are operational. We are launching our association for special economic zones because um, we've been operating in isolation. Every organization has been operating independently and we feel that when you are united, you are able to develop clear policies, good policies that can be able to drive our industry in the right direction. So that's why we came up, we say let's have an association whereby we cannot, the authority will not be listening to an individual. Authority will be reaching to the association and be able to drive policies for the whole association together in one way. The, the act was a problem initially and uh, I'm happy that the government has already been able to come up with an act that is able to operate, especially in the right direction. When it comes to representation, We've had um, challenges as uh, players, either as an operator, an enterprise, or a developer of a special economic zone, having um, one voice in terms of uh, addressing very significant issues to do with either policy, regulation, um, or just the general uh, challenges that are facing the day-to-day -day running of, of, of a special economic zone. So this bringing, bringing the players together uh, in whatever form or shape that they are in really is a big step 